So this video is a follow-up to my last one, which was Bathurst Lighthouse Strikes Flat Earth Another Death Blow. I find it quite fascinating how so many flat earthers immediately go into damage control whenever I post a video, and this one already has over 2,300 comments. And one of the most prevalent comments from flat earthers is the mirage, which is clearly visible in the footage. Now, I find it quite amusing that Flat Earthers accuse me of being deceptive. If I was deceptive, I would probably try to hide out that mirage. But in my footage, you see exactly what I saw. I'm showing the absolute truth. Now, I realize Flat Earthers have to clutch at straws, but there's no point getting excited about that mirage. Because in my footage, the horizon defined by the water here is very clear. You can see the small waves, and there is no mirage actually at the horizon. It is beyond that. And furthermore, that mirage is not hiding 14 meters of ground underneath the lighthouse. Remember? That is how much ground there is underneath the lighthouse. Looking at the statistics, the height of the lighthouse itself is 19 meters and the focal height is 30 meters. The focal height is the position of the lamp itself. So if we look at that lighthouse being 19 meters tall, the focal height being 30 meters above the water, that gives us about 14 meters of land that is underneath the lighthouse. So the elevation at the base of the lighthouse is around 14 meters. That mirage is not hiding the 14 meters of land. It's the water that is hiding that. It is very clearly apparent in the footage. So our friend Ruhif was able to do an accurate pixel analysis from my footage by looking at the distance between the wind turbine and Bathurst Lighthouse. He was able to determine how many pixels there are per degree field of view and from that calculate the position of where the water level would be at the lighthouse itself. And as you can see, it is well below the visible water horizon and that position matches beautifully to the amount of land that we know is underneath the lighthouse and yet is not visible in my footage. So I'm sorry Flat Earthers, but this mirage won't save you. We have told you this in the comments. It has been shown to you in the pixel analysis. The inferior mirage won't save you. And now I'm telling you in the video, the mirage won't save you. However, let's take a look at some footage of Bathurst Lighthouse taken on a different day where there is clearly no mirage at all. And the footage was taken almost two years ago and is in this video titled Flat Earth, the Predictive Power of Globe Geometry, posted in September 2017. Now this is one of my personal favorites because in this video, I used SunCalc and Google Earth to determine the precise location to put my camera so that the sun would set directly behind Bathurst Lighthouse. And as you can see, the calculation was perfect. Now, in addition to a nice observation, on this day, there was no miraging at all. And you can see, especially after the sun has set, when I zoom in on the lighthouse, no miraging. Zooming right in, we can even see the height of people. The average height is about 1.7 to 1.8 meters. So using that to scale, we can see that there is around three meters of land visible underneath the lighthouse. Now, this particular observation was made from a distance of 20.16 kilometers with a camera height of 3.5 meters and the focal height for Bathurst Lighthouse is 30 meters, as we know. With standard refraction, that means 19.29 meters will be visible and therefore we should see, and we do see, some of the land underneath the lighthouse, but we still have about 10 meters or more of land that is not visible. That is how much land we should be seeing underneath the lighthouse. There's no mirage here, and from an elevation of 3.5 meters, we're only seeing about three meters of the land, which once again fits perfectly to the Earth Curve Calculator. 
And let's not forget this footage of the two ships with one in the foreground in front of the horizon and another one behind. There is no miraging in this video and yet we can see very clearly that the hull of the second ship is completely hidden by the curvature of the Earth. I'll post links to this video in the description below. So I've had literally hundreds of discussions with flat earthers over the past three years on this channel. And one question I ask often is, can you produce a flight plan that works? Because real aircraft flight plans are all calculated for a globe. They would not work on a flat earth. And therefore, analyzing a real aircraft flight plan will irrefutably prove that the earth is a globe. This is a real flight plan from San Diego, Chile to Christchurch, New Zealand that I produced about two years ago specifically for a flat earther to go away and analyse. I sent him the link and I never heard another word about it. So in a recent conversation, a flat earther asked me why I don't focus more on aircraft flight plans. Personally, I would love to. They are an excellent and irrefutable proof of the globe. Unfortunately, after three years of dealing with flat earthers, many prominent ones who run YouTube channels and countless others who have commented on my channel, I am yet to find one flat earther who is smart enough to understand how these flight plans work. I don't mean that as an insult. It is simply a fact. Not one flat earther that I have personally engaged is smart enough to calculate a real aircraft flight plan or even analyze a flight plan like this. Now, if you want to prove me wrong, if you're a flat earther and you think you have what it takes to produce a real aircraft flight plan, please come to my channel, make yourself known, and let's talk flight plans with real numbers. I expect crickets. And this is one of the main reasons I started making these observations of Bathurst Lighthouse, because they are very simple demonstrations of the Earth's curvature. Even so, flat earthers immediately attempt damage control by pointing to things such as this mirage. However, as we just saw in this footage, with no mirage, the observation once again matches the globe prediction perfectly. And I really don't know why you waste your time, Flat Earthers, because flight plans will checkmate you every time. And I'm really sorry you don't understand why, but it's a fact. Real aircraft flight plans irrefutably prove the globe. So remember, Flat Earthers, the only way you can debunk my Bathurst Lighthouse videos is to show us an observation with all of the land clearly visible underneath the lighthouse from a low elevation like that. And remember, you need to pan around fully so that we can see your exact location and your elevation. This is a very clear observation, no distortion, no mirage, and we have 10 meters of land underneath the lighthouse hidden, not visible at all. That is what we should see. This is what we do see from the low elevation. So if you can't show us an observation like this with all of the land visible, you're simply wasting your time. 